Hey guys, it is Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. I have my owl crate. It came on time this month, so hopefully the shipping is back to normal. And yeah, so this is the July 2020 owl crate. This is the regular owl crate. And let's just get into it. If you don't know what Alcrate is, go and watch some of my previous unboxings. And I'm so freaking excited. I have not opened this yet. Holy crap, let me open it. <laughs> it's open. So let's just get into the box. And I know that there is a mug and that it has one of the last Harry Potter items for the year that Alcrate is going to include. And then they're going to discuss about next year if they're going to include Harry Potter or not. So if you're triggered by the Harry Potter item in this unboxing and have been burned by JK Rowling's comments, I am 100% behind the transgender community. Trans woman is a woman. Trans man is a man. You do you, honey. I am supporting you. I am there for you. If you need to talk, comment in the comments and I will lend an ear or my keyboard so uh, let's get into it I forget the theme this month and once again the spoiler card is now bent uh, I get the Alcrate Juniors for my kids and they Samantha's magazine was all bent out of shape so mm, and the theme this month was Date with Destiny, and I'm loving this card. It's like very goddess with all seen eyes. Yeah, it would have been better if this wasn't bent, but mm. and this is the spoiler, so let's just get into it. So, the first thing I'm going to pull out and get out of the way is the mug. I was super excited about these mugs, and I know Kara Kozik has put a lot of heart, blood, sweat, and tears in these mugs just for the author of the famous book series to just run off at the mouth. But anyway, and I said that once the Harry Potter series was done that I didn't know if I was going to continue with Alcrate. And if Alcrate doesn't continue with these mugs and if I'm not continuing to be happy with the con with the items then I may stop and go to a different subscription box and this is the sixth year Harry's sixth year at Hogwarts and so it shows the castle uh the potions, the dungeons, um, Harry doing the liquid luck. Y'all can't see that, I apologize. And it shows the steps, it shows Dumbledore, Harry, and the Pensieve. And it shows the dark mark. Oh, that, and it shows Fox. Actually, I don't think this is, is this the castle? That's not Hogwarts. Is it Hogwarts? I'm not sure. But it is very pretty. My favorite is the dark mark. So, yes. And I'm having some stuff like catch my fingers. Hmm. So it's not exactly smooth and perfect. I do feel some imperfections. But it's very pretty. The next thing I am very intrigued by because it's, it's in this adorable star and moon bag that can be reused. And I don't know what this is. Ah, cool. A red tag tag came off. And it's a Foxway Diner apron. It's an Alcrate exclusive. Fate is a very weighty word. 
to throw around before breakfast. And this is Designed with Love by Paperback Bones. So, you know, just loving this bag. That will be reused. I think I'm more excited about the bag than the mug. But I got another apron. I got a crap ton of aprons. And let's see. And it is pancakes and prediction or predications. Predication. Uh, 300 Foxway, Henrietta, West Virginia. Fate is a very weighty word to throw around before breakfast. And I think this is the Raven Boys because it has the ley lines that's synonymous with the uh, Raven Boys series. I have not read the Raven Boys, obviously. So, and this is very, like, umbrella material and it's got pockets it's very pretty I like it and it will be used if not by me then by my kids when they go to Girl Scout meetings this thing I pulled out is another tea from Riddle's Tea Shop and it is a Simon Sour Cherry Scones Loose Leaf Tea Blend and it's decaf Ceylon tea, rose hips, hibiscus, apple pieces, natural wild, cherry flavor, cherries, natural vanilla flavors, gluten free, sugar free, nut and dairy free. And I just had some of my other Alcrate <laughs> Real Tea Shop tea earlier today. Uh, I tried the Sea Witch that I got last year. I never opened it and it tasted like... Uh, juicy fruit and no fruit loops and ariana tried the mario tea that she got i think a couple months ago and it tasted like juicy fruit and big red and that was my favorite so um i don't know what this is from probably carry on here is the pen and it says, Decide Your Fate, and it is very pretty. I'm so glad that Alcrate started doing enamel pens, but I'm still bitter about them taking away the pens and doing stickers in the Alcrate Junior. My girls don't like the stick. They like the stickers, but they loved the pens more. So. Okay. I know who's going to steal this. I might have to fight her on it. <laughs> or I may just give it to her. It's Kylo Ren and Ray. Star Wars. My oldest is obsessed with Ray, and we all hate Kylo Ren. Uh. And I love how they gave her the yellow lightsaber. It's just, ah. Uh. Okay, who designed this? I want to know. Okay. Do you align with the Jedi or are you called towards the dark side? Either way, we think you'll love the Star Wars inspired double sided force dyad wooden bookmark created by In the Reeds. I'm so happy that they included a non bookish fandom. Well, Star Wars has books, but it was movies before books, so I'm excited that they included a non-bookish fandom on a bookish item. So, yeah, I think I'm only going to get like one use out of this before my daughter steals it. She's going to go freaking ballistic. Um, Star Wars is very beloved in our house, and... My kids have their own little droids. Sammy has BB-8. Ariana has R2-D2. We are working on getting our lightsabers. I want the purple. Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. And the last book is Judy before we get to the book, I think. Yeah. Mug. Apron. Tea. 
bookmark. Okay. And yep, this is the last. So it's a tin of paper clips. It's arrow paper clips. And the quote on the front, on the top, says, Hope is the only thing stronger than fear. And it is from The Hunger Games, which is my favorite book series in the entire world besides Harry Potter. I think it beats Harry Potter, actually. Um, yeah, it's a quote by President Snow. And can't say President Snow because then my cat will start coming all up and rubbing all up on me. I named, me and my husband went to go see the, I think, Mark and Jay Part 1 or Part 2 in theaters and we were just talking before the movie started at drive-in and I was like, because there was a cat walking around on the uh, hoods of people's cars and it was a stray cat and nobody knew and I was like, wouldn't that be funny if a white kitten came up? I would name it President Snow. And then two days later at his job, uh, his manager found a solid white kitten astray in the product. And it he messed up a lot of stuff. He chewed through a lot of food. This my husband worked at a, a grocery store. And so... Mm. Uh, he almost got into some rat poison and my husband saved him and brought him home and I named him President Snow and <laughs> yep, he'll be six on December 1st. So, anyways, but yes, I'm excited and that's a lot of paper clips. Some good fandoms. Two I really love, or three I really like, or three I really love, uh, Star Wars, Hunger Games, Harry Potter. Yes. So let's get to the book. And it is not in plastic. Good job, Alfred. You're listening to the people. No more plastic. And the book is Goddess in the Machine by Laura Beth Johnson. And it's got gold gilded edges. Which is very pretty. And the cover is different. I think the original was a more purple. Yeah. Uh, for our exclusive edition of Goddess in the Machine, we went with the vibrant orange color scheme. We love how much it pops and how stunning it looks paired with the exclusive gold foil edges. So, yeah. Uh, the original cover, it's more purple in the background. And on the original Al or the Alcred exclusive, it is all orange and I agree it does make the girl in the middle pop more and she's not just like it's all you can she's more silhouetted in the uh, regular she looks more muted and blending in so I like the owl crate better than the original but I have no idea what this book is about so a uh, letter from the author that's a very lengthy can't wait to read that. The theme for the August box is written in the stars. And the sneak peek is every box, every August box will include a book sleeve designed by the Quirky Cup Collective. I follow that Instagram account and she does the most beautiful celestial moon phase stars, galaxies. It's gorgeous. Uh, yeah, so she does this stuff. Uh, if you want to see, uh, follow her down. I'm going to put Corky Collective's Instagram in the description box because y'all have to go check her stuff out. Uh, I found her on Book Race because Book Race has that Stay Wild Moonchild mug and I needed it and I had to find me one. I didn't buy it yet, but I found it and, uh, can she just take my money and give me everything? Don't do that. I'll run out of house and home. My shipping container is only too big. Only so small. Only so big. What am I trying to say? Uh, yeah. So that's it for this Alcrate unboxing. Uh, this was a good month. I really enjoyed it. I, I'm loving the fandoms that they chose. Star Wars, Hunger Games, Harry Potter. 
Yes. Um, and I'm excited for the book, too. Um, yeah. That is everything for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.